the Flow Sports Radio. You know what it is. Hip Hop Sports Radio. And this is the Flow Sports Radio Show. I want to apologize in advance for the scratchiness and the level of stuffiness that uh, my voice is uh, emanating right now because uh, your boy is sick, Matthew Shack in the building, um, but this is sports. That means sometimes you got to play hard, you know, you got to play hurt, and um, you got to play hard and you got to play hurt, so I'm playing hurt, um, but I couldn't lay in the bed and not talk about what just transpired last night with the NBA. Um, not only did the uh, 66 NBA All-Star game uh, was played last night, um, along with the, you know, NBA uh, All-Star weekend, but uh, last night, crazy productions, baby. a major trade went down in the NBA. DeMarcus Cousins, uh, immediately after the game, where he was a, uh, a All-Star on the West for the Sacramento Kings, got traded to the uh, New Orleans Pelicans. Uh, and Anthony and Anthony Davis, who just uh, broke Will Chamberlain's record last night with a, uh, you know, with a uh, 52 game, 52 point game performance, uh, and it, it, it gave shockwaves around the league. So what does this actually mean? Well, basically, let's get down to it, man. What it means is, is that the NBA is a business, straight up, point blank. I know we know that, but we don't know that. We didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? As fans, that it would go down like that. That's some cold. That's some cold stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they had this thing plotted out. Uh, sources say that uh, uh, Kings GM Vladi Divac, uh, Peja Stoyakovich, and others had already planned not to take the team charter uh, back to Sacramento after the game. Who wound up being on the plane by himself and his family was DeMarcus Cousins, his family, his his manager, and and the PR guy from the uh, Sacramento Kings. In other words, we're wiping our hands with you, De Boogie Cousins. We don't want to have nothing to do with you, homie. Uh, we don't want to see you, dog. Uh, and we can't face up to you. Okay? Uh, let's get down to what this means basketball-wise and then we'll get down to what it means business-wise. What it means basketball-wise is that now the New Orleans Pelicans, the team with the funny name, they ain't so funny now, okay? They automatically have the best front court in basketball, without question, without argument, okay? You got Anthony Davis, who, uh, who at seven feet, damn near seven feet, at 23 years old, is the heir apparent to being the best player in the NBA once LeBron James starts slowing down. That's a fact, okay? After that, you got a 26-year-old Boogie Cousins who was universally recognized as the best uh, center in the NBA. They both went to Kentucky. They both played for John Calipari. They're two, they were two years apart in, high, in college. Now they're two years apart in age. Now, what I think about that is, is that A. Russell Westbrook, you need to be going down there to New Orleans and get you some gumbo and get you some, some some fried crawfish and down there and play with them cats, man. Straight up, it's gonna be it, it, it'll be off the damn chain. That's where you go. You need three superstars. They are all they are definitely gonna make the playoffs now. Okay, Boogie Cousins just had 55 points earlier in the month. Okay, Anthony Davis, beast. Okay, now there are other pieces. There's a problem. Okay. They don't really have the pieces, but who ain't going to want to go play with those two cats now? They're going to get their pieces. Now, let's get to the business side of it. The Sacramento Kings handed, let me do that again, handed DeMarcus Cousins to New Orleans. And this had nothing to do with what a lot of fans are thinking. Oh, it's because Boogie Cousins is a cancer. Oh, it's because Boogie Cousins uh, has anger management issues. 
he's a problem. He, you know, he, he does all these things. He's a technical foul machine. Uh, he doesn't get along well with others and all of that. That has nothing to do with it. Okay? He would have been traded a long time ago if that was the case. He's a coach killer, all of that. He was only traded because DeMarcus Cousins had a very rare uh, uh, clause uh, that was getting ready to be in effect where he could aside for a five-year deal, okay? Very rare circumstances. He could aside a five-year deal with the Sacramento Kings for $209 million, okay? And they were trying to force the hand of the Sacramento Kings uh, by uh, DeMarcus's manager said, look, man, if you trade DeMarcus, she's been saying this for the last couple of weeks. If you trade DeMarcus, we, he's not going to reside with anybody. So you better not trade him because you're talking about a hundred. You're talking about two hundred nine million dollars. Now with the trade, okay. Not only does Sacramento get a few players back, they get Buddy Hill, they get old Tyreek Evans that they had before, uh, a, a couple of first round and second round draft picks. That's basically a fire sale. So what they did was is that they saved themselves to have to pay the man, okay. Now that messes up DeMarcus, DeMarcus Cousins' paper because he can only sign for a maximum four-year contract of $180 million. So he just essentially lost, Boogie Cousins lost, an, uh, an additional $30 to $39 million on a contract. That's a 30-year a $30 million contract in the fifth year of an option on, on, on a side deal that was gonna happen, okay? So if I'm Boogie Cousins, man, I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? Because this is what they had planned all along. All right? They didn't even trade him anywhere where he could really do any damage. Okay? They traded him to the Western Caucus way on the other side. You know what I'm saying? On the other side of the Mississippi River. You know what I'm saying? They knew not to keep him in the Pacific Division. Okay? So, this is what I'm talking about in regards to players. Okay? Players are brands. All right? They're looking out for themselves. They're not like... Uh, the players from the, from the uh, 90s and 70s and 80s where they're being team loyalty and all this stuff, you know, the stuff that people were talking about with the man you love to hate the most, LeBron James, when he left and did his multiple uh, 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 tap step when he went over to Miami and came back to Cleveland, everyone's talking about when he's trying to go to teams and try to, you know, uh, uh, levy his fortunes and the same thing with Kevin Durant when he left for the team that beat him 3-1, when he was up 3-1, to go to a, a stacked team, uh, this is what players are doing now. They're looking out for themselves. They're not going. To, they're not going to go broke. Okay. So I look at this as a great opportunity, man. If I was Russell Westbrook, who had 41 points last night, uh, uh, you know, I would be trying to go there. I'm trying to go somewhere where I can get some things done. And the amount of blowback that came from everybody in the NBA was like people were speechless. Wow. But I think the most telling. Uh, uh, thing that was said was Matt Johnson when he said uh, on Twitter uh, he's very disappointed in the Los Angeles Lakers in not acquiring Boogie Cousins and he can't wait to be in charge there you go right there man he said that Boogie Cousins could have changed the Los Angeles Lakers fortune so if the greatest point guard of our time uh, can say that DeMarcus Cousins would change the Lakers fortune what do you think is going to happen to the Pelicans? straight up you know what I'm saying so, I think it's a great move. Uh, people are saying, well, DeMarcus Cousins isn't going to resign with anybody. That's not true. He's from Mobile, Alabama, and that's only a hop, skip, and a jump away from, from his house. Probably from where he'd be at in New Orleans. Okay? I've been in that area. I've been to Mobile, Alabama. Mobile, Alabama is only about a two-hour drive away from, from uh, New Orleans. Okay? It's just like playing at the crib. And he spent a lot of time in New Orleans when he was a kid. He's got family there. So it's looking like that's a great marriage. I think it's going to work out. But DeMarcus Cousins lost 30 to $39 million. Straight up. Okay? So we're going to see what happens with that. Let's get to this All-Star game. I'm going to tell you this right now. Let's not expect uh, the NBA All-Star weekend to be anything other than boo-boo. Okay? It's going to be boo-boo. It's going to stay boo-boo. The All-Star game, no competitiveness at all. You know what I'm saying? They're, it's just a glorified ex exhibition game, but it's even to the point where they don't even, they're not even really, don't even care. You know what I'm saying? When, when Michael Jordan was back, it sounded like, like an old cat complaining, but at the end of the day, when Michael Jordan was uh, playing in the 90s, 
they would mess around for the first three quarters and then it would get highly competitive because George was like, look, man, I'm not going to be able to lose a team. And plus, the winners get an extra $20,000. What's $20,000 to catch now? That's nobody. That's nothing. They spend that at the strip club. So the competitiveness was straight whack. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but at the end of the day, you got people looking out for themselves. Okay? Kawhi Leonard, he he told Steve Kirk, hey, man, I'm only, I, I don't want to play the fourth quarter, dude. I need to rest. So these guys are thinking about uh, the finals, and they're thinking about the playoffs. They're not even thinking about this stuff. And the slam dunk contest, let's just stop the slam dunk contest. It's not even about the dunks anymore. Everybody's coming out, acting like they're doing a Broadway play, man, and missing dunks. It's straight whack, man. Straight boo-boo is whack. Uh, the worst dunk contest in history. I didn't even watch the dunk contest in real time because I knew it was going to be whack. Okay? I looked at the, the uh, participants. It was going to be whack. And all these people talk about, well, LeBron James should do it. Why? Why do it? For what? What's he going to get out of it? NBA's going to win if he's in it. Well, he wants another trophy? Man, if I was LeBron James, man, I'd stay far away from that damn sideshow. You know what I'm saying? So, just to let you know, that's what's going on. That's it. That's all. And the NBA, once again, is let's wait till the playoffs. The league, it really needs to do something, man, to make this, these games better. Uh, if not, let's just get rid of it. And that's it. Flow Sports Radio Show. Even though we play at hurt and we play at sick, we still putting up 50. But until then, game on. Game on. Stir Crazy Productions, baby. Man, my grandmama gave me that chain.